It is Wednesday, June 30th, and we are on what I believe is day seven of our trip, and we are currently anchored right outside of Oxford, Maryland. So Oxford, Maryland is right over there, and behind us over here, there I guess, that is uh, Bellevue, I think it is, Maryland. There's a ferry that's going back and forth that goes from Oxford to Bellevue. And we're anch anchored right off what's called the Strand, which is a street called the Strand, and there's a beach there. We're down the way from the Oxford Yacht Club, and uh, we just got here. We left Cambridge, the, the anchorage in Cambridge. We left there this morning, probably like, I guess it was probably around 8.30 or 8, 9 o'clock. And we had a pretty easy sail up here. It didn't take us that long. I, don't, it, I think we got here uh, by around noon. So it didn't take us very long to get here. And the plan is to stay here for the next uh, few days because I think we have thunderstorms coming tomorrow. It's very hot today. It's like uh, 100 plus with the heat index. and But it's nice and windy. It's very breezy. So it's really comfortable sitting here. Supposed to get thunderstorms tomorrow, 100% to roughly 90% chance of thunderstorms, and but it'll cool down, and that is Thursday. Friday and Saturday have lower chances of thunderstorms, and Sunday we go back to no uh, thunderstorms, Sunday and Monday, so we're probably going to leave here Sunday. The problem with Sunday, though, it looks like are the winds, because I think after the storms move through, the winds are supposed to spin around to being nor northwest winds, which is kind of the direction we want to go, which is going to either be a lot of tacking or a lot of motoring, depending on uh, how strong the winds are. So that's what it kind of, kind of looks like where we're at right now, is uh, hanging out. Uh, we just got in Oxford later on this evening. I think we're going to run in and grab something to eat. So we'll take a look and see what Oxford looks like. It is Thursday, July 1st, and we are on day eight of the trip. And we have been, we spent the day anchored here in Oxford, Maryland. This afternoon, we went into a grocery store, bought some uh, things, some bottled water, Gatorades, uh, fruit, some things like that, and came back to the boat. We had a tremendous thunderstorm come through, which I think, I don't even think we got the worst of it that was in the area, but we still had. Uh, I mean, it just came very, very quickly, and um, we had a lot of big uh, wind that they said, at, at least in other areas here, that it was uh, 55 mile an hour plus winds. So up to, up to like in, in some places I saw as high as 70. I don't know what exactly we had here because I didn't turn on the, the wind instruments at the time, but uh, it was blowing pretty good. It was enough that um, I can't. I can I can't tell for sure if we dragged our anchor, or if just the amount of scope that I put out was uh, enough that it put us over into some shallow area, a little bit uh, lightly grounded. We kind of stuck there for a, for a little bit, and I think also may have had to do with the with the waves and 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 things. But um, but what I was able to do, the storm blew through pretty quickly. It was got within a few minutes, and maybe 15 minutes. It was it was gone. Uh, for the most part, so I was able to get in the dinghy, take the other anchor straight out, and drop it, and then uh, tug on it a bit and use the motor, and it didn't really take much to get us off. We were floating, and so I took us a little bit further out and re-anchored uh, a little bit further out from where we were before, because we were kind of kind of close, as close in as we could have been. I think, uh, and then with the storm and putting the extra scope out, I think that may have been the problem. I don't think the anchor drug, I think it's just because uh, it came up with a lot of mud on it. So it may have just been too much scope, I guess. And, and the maybe the it was at low tide and all sorts of things happening at the same time. So, uh, But anyway, we, we were able to get out of that relatively, relatively easily. Uh, but uh, it was just kind of, you know, a, a pain trying or having to, to go through all that in the middle middle of or the end of that thunderstorm so what the plan is for now what it looks like is tomorrow we have some more rain thunderstorms so i think it's like 70 percent chance of rain and thunderstorms tomorrow so we'll probably hang out here for another day 
And then on Saturday, we'll go back across the bay because Saturday looks like no uh, storms, 10 to 15 knot winds. They look like they're northwest winds, west to northwest winds, which is not perfect because it means we're going to have to tack, you know, a bit to get across. The closest place across from us would be uh, Herring Bay, again, where we, where we took off from. So the first goal would be to get to Herring Bay. If the winds help push us a little further than, uh, than that, then we may try to go all the way up to West River, Road River in that vicinity there, and maybe go back to our, uh, the Road River Anchorage that we stayed at a few days ago, and then uh, maybe stay there for a day or so, and then start going back north toward Annapolis. Uh, but that is the update so far. Um, let's see, what else did we do today? Oh, also today, after after the storm passed, we went into into Oxford. There's a restaurant called Capsize, uh, aptly, fittingly named. We went there for dinner. It was a pretty good uh, dinner, I think. And uh, then came back out to the boat. And it looks like you can see it's really cloudy in the background. Uh, it's supposed to possibly rain again tonight. Maybe possible thunderstorms. So we'll see how it goes. I, we're anchored a bit further out than we were before. I got a different anchor out too. Um, and I think that may have also been the problem is I had that a, a CQR anchor out on all chain and the snubber slipped. And I think that may have just the extra shock of the chain may have may have dislodged it if it came loose. I'm not completely sure that it even came loose but but that's kind of what uh, so now i got it i got the um the fortress anchor out which i'm i'm i like better i'm more comfortable with that one out there that one always seems to hold well so uh so that's what we have out tonight and we'll see how that goes and uh, hopefully we don't get another uh, storm like that one which i don't think we will i don't think we'll get the winds again but we should still get some rain and possibly another thunderstorm so uh that's where we are for today and we'll i'll fill you in tomorrow and see what uh what our what our plans are and how the weather may affect those all right here we are dinner time it's day nine and we've got some pan lasagna made by our special cook on board in the lovely galley over here. All right, today it is day 10, I believe, and it is Saturday, July 3rd, I think. We left this morning, we left Oxford this morning uh, pretty early, like around 7.30. It is somewhere going on about 9.30, I think, or uh, 9 o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock, something like that. We are clear of the chop tank and we are in the Chesapeake Bay, headed uh, west across the bay. And we're gonna to try to get all the way up to Road River today. If not, then we're gonna to try to get to Herring Bay. So one of those two, depending on the winds. Winds right now, we're getting about like 11 knots, so not like super, not a lot. When we were inside the chop tank, we were getting, you know, up to 20 knot winds, uh, 20 knot gusts, sustained like at least uh, 15. So there's a small craft uh, advisory today for uh, 10 to 15 knot winds. So that's right about where we want them. But um, right now it looks like they've died down a little bit. So we're just going to go kind of coast here um, across. We're doing about four knots or so. And then uh, head across the bay and try to either get to Herring Bay or try to get to... Um, try to get to Road River and anchor there. Right over here to our left is a thunderstorm that we encountered on the way back across the bay. And uh, that hit us with some pretty good winds, 30 knot winds or so. We got the sails down just in time and uh, were able to weather the storm for about 10 or 15 minutes. Here we are at the Herring Bay Anchorage, and you can see the skies look pretty clear here. The wa water's pretty calm, but it really picked up later on, and there were thunderstorms all around the area, but all of those missed us, and we didn't have any problem with storms that night. You can see here on one side of us, it looks pretty good, the weather, and then there you can see another storm that had just missed us off in the distance, and we didn't get any wind or weather from this but later on in the night we picked up some waves that blew in as a result of that storm
And there's the end of the storm. You can barely make out a rainbow, which of course looked much better in person. It was actually a double rainbow that you could see right at the edge of the storm. So day 11, and we're, we've got another boat meal. Curry, chickpeas, green beans, tomatoes, rice. It looks pretty tasty. Okay, today's day 11 of the trip. And today what we did is we uh, went from Herring Bay down south up to uh, Selby Bay, which is where we're at now, uh, in an anchorage in Selby Bay. So around us here, Selby Bay, and then out there behind me, right back over there, that's the South River and uh, Chesapeake Bay. So that's where we came from today. And then tomorrow, we're only like, a, we're, we're a very short distance from Annapolis. So tomorrow we're gonna go back to Annapolis and that will be our 12th day of the trip. And the day after 4th of July, so to, or today is 4th of July. So that was kind of the goal. And we will have done that when we come into Annapolis tomorrow. Today what we had was, uh, started out we motored a, a, quite a bit just because we had uh, no wind in the morning and then it kind of uh, started to pick up so we were able to sail all the way in here. We were going to try another anchorage first uh, down that way, out that way somewhere, further up South River, but it was very tight, very small tight anchorage so we said, eh, let's not do that, let's just come back here to Selby Bay. We've been here before. We got here, lots of boats were anchored, lots of power boats. It's 4th of July, so everybody's out on their boat. And a lot of the power boats have left. It's maybe a couple sailboats left, a couple more power boats. But usually what happens is an anchorage like this is people will be here during the day and then they'll leave and then the, just the power or just the sailboats will be left to spend the night. So uh, that's where we are tomorrow, our home stretch back into Annapolis. And we're supposed to have good wind for it. So we'll see uh, how the weather goes. And we are pulling into Annapolis. Over there in the distance, right over there, is the tall ship Pride of Baltimore II here in Annapolis for 4th of July. And we got a lot of boats anchored out here. We don't, usually don't have this many anchored in this area just because as you can see, it's pretty rolly because all the power boats coming through here creating wake and making it uh, kind of crazy. But you can see lots of boats out today. And lots of uh, rolling and wake people cutting through the anchorage. We're going to go right up here and then make a left and head up Spa Creek. There's Pride of Baltimore 2 again. Naval Academy straight ahead. Catamaran cutting through. Two boats at anchor. People learning how to sail over there. Little kids it looks like. And then there's Annapolis in the background there. 